Hello and welcome to Snipply. In our previous video, I went over how you can use Snipply to add a call to action to every link you share. We went through how to set up brand profiles and to set up your call to action, and we even went over how to create your first Snipply link. To refresh your memory, here is the Snipply link that we created last time. Uh, here you have the link. This is a Wired article about Instagram, but of course, when people are reading this article, not only can they see the content, they'll also see this call to action in the bottom left-hand corner here that we added using Snipply. Uh, the brand profile was Happy Company. We set up the call to action called Come Visit Our Website, click here, and I promised that I would create another video to go over how you can customize the look and feel of your call to action, because right now it looks very default. It's a white background, blue button, and so let's dive straight in and customize this little widget here to make it truly reflect the personality of your brand. The first thing you want to do is to go inside your Snipply dashboard. Uh, here's the brand that we set up last time, which we've called Happy Company, and we used a happy face as the logo. Um, and of course, here's the link that we created last time for the Wired article. In order to edit a call to action, you want to go into the navigation and you'll find Manage Call to Actions. And so we want to find the call to action that we created last time. Uh, here's a list and we can see that there's a the happy face here come visit our website This is the call to action that we had set up last time So let's go ahead and click on that and get more details about the call to action And as you can see here haven't really used it as it's just a demo So all the analytics are zero But normally you'd see clicks conversions and so forth and how many snippy links you've created using this call to action So our first step to customizing is to click on edit call to action in the right top corner there once I click on that, it's going to bring up the Snipply editor. Um, so I'm going to dive straight into the customization portion, which is what this video is going to be about. Uh, the first option is the theme. And the theme is really interesting as it really transforms the look and feel of the call to action. You'll see a preview down here. That's where my call to action currently is. Uh, there's the full width theme, um, which is going to extend the bar to the entire width of the page. You may have seen this kind of formula or this kind of style before as it's very common. The full width theme takes up the whole width. Uh, there's a candy theme which we offer. It's a slight variation of the speech bubble theme except the logo is integrated with the, with the box itself. Uh, we also have the bean theme which is kind of cute. It's a, it's a round theme which works really well, looks really good if you have a round logo. So as you can see with our happy face, it kind of looks neat because it's a, it's a round logo, the theme is round, and it matches the style. Uh, and of course the default one is the social, and we call it social because it does look like a speech bubble. It looks like your brand is saying this message. So when you're representing a personal brand, perhaps with a photo of yourself, it really looks like a, a sociable widget. It's a you and a speech bubble, and you're saying something to your followers. So the second thing I want to go through now that we've covered themes is the colors. So every brand has, uh, of course, a brand color. In our case, since we use the happy face, let's just assume that our brand is yellow. Um, and so there's a background color here and with full sliders, and I can really customize the look and feel of that. Um, let's say, uh, so yellow, that looks good, but yellow and blue doesn't really match. I can change the button color. Let's just make it white so it reflects that a little better. Um, and then, of course, my button text has now disappeared because the button color is white, button text is white, so I want to change the button text color. Uh, and there we have it. I can have it uh, yellow as well, or I can have it orange text. And so there's quite a bit of flexibility and uh, a text color as well. So not just the background and the button text, I could change uh, exactly how I want it to look. So here it is. I have Pretty nice call to action now, really matching my happy face brand colors. And of course, you would probably wouldn't be using yellow unless your branding is yellow. You can use your own uh, different colors. Um, you don't have to use the rainbow slider. There's a hex code, so if you work with a creative team, they're probably going to have all these codes so you can match the exact color that your brand represents. Uh, after color is the positioning. So as you can see in the preview and in the link earlier, it's at the left bottom corner, and that's because it's set to bottom left. But I can do uh, I can do bottom right, and you'll, as you'll see in the preview, it kind of shifts over to the bottom right. I can do top left, uh, I can do top right, and so forth. So different positions also works with different themes as well. So if I go back to full width, you'll see the bar is now on the top. I can move the bar on the bottom. 
So let's just leave it at the top for now. Uh, and there's also an option to hide or show the Simply logo, and this is actually a premium feature. Um, by default, your call to action is going to have the Simply logo on there, but through upgrades and different options, you can hide the Simply logo, in essence, white labeling it so that people uh, really just see your brand and there's no distraction to your brand with any form of Simply branding. So I'm just going to finish that call to action right now. It looks good. I've got my logo, um, changed some of the colors so it really looks like the happy face finish call to action uh, and there there you have it we just updated uh, the the call to action and if we go back to the link earlier this is the link which we created in the previous video snip.ly p6ozx um, and if I go ahead and refresh the same link you'll see that the call to action has been updated so you can see the wired.com article about uh, Instagram it looks like um, but the call to action is now at the top the customizations are now live instantly. It's yellow, We've got the happy face, happy company, um, and our button. Everything looks good. So that's how you customize the look and feel of your call to action. In future videos, I'll go deeper into other customization options, such as how do you set up your own custom domain, or how do you uh, edit the short link, for example, this P6OZX here. I can actually change and customize that short link so it doesn't look so random. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I will be back with more videos soon.